Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which which is Hebrew for what I said. Bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, this is going to be a real short, short, quick one. All right. And uh, I'm going to bring this out because someone asked me, uh, you know, why can't they call themselves a queen? All right. Now, one thing here we learn, you know, I've learned from my elders and apostles at Great Millstone is that we look up words. All right, now words carry meaning, you know, and words are powerful, you know. And uh, in order to understand the scriptures, you must uh, look at words, you know, look up words, excuse me, and know the meaning of it, you know, especially the script, the words that are in the scriptures, you know, going back to the Greek, going back to the Hebrew, you know, so you can get the full understanding of what you're reading in the context. All right. Now, the word queen, you know, you got a lot of women, black women. You know, per se, you know, calling themselves queens, you know, oh, I'm a queen or God say, all right, my queen. Well, basically, the word queen actually means a prostitute. OK. And, um, you know, here in America, you spell it Q, you know, Q-U-E-E-N. But the original word queen goes back to Q-U-E-A-N. Okay, and you should look that up. You can etymology this on your own, you know. So, this is um, the word queen, right? Q U A Q U E A N. Okay, it says an overly forward, impudent woman, sh uh, shrewd hussy. All right, a prostitute. It says British dialect, a girl or young woman, especially a, ro a robust, a robust one. All right. And that's and that's it is what it says, man. So the word queen means prostitute. And then you have related words that that relates to this here in the definition. It says tramp, whore, Jezebel. All right. Hussy, wench, hooker, harlot. OK. You have these few words. So, you know, you should not want to be called queen. You know, the women that are of the, the, the children. The women that are of the Israelites, all right, which are the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, the women of the tribes, of the 12 tribes of Israel, they're princesses. They're not queens. You have kings and princesses, all right? A queen is a whore. A queen is a, is a, a Jezebel, a, a hussy, a, a wench, a harlot, a tramp. A prostitute all right an overly forward impudent woman shrewd hussy so it's nothing good to be calling yourself a queen you know if you believe that you know in this truth of ours you know if you're coming in the spirit and power of your house Bashmi, I was shy and you're a woman you know you want to call yourself and your daughters uh, princesses man you know a princess so I just want to do one quick thing real quick. Princess. Just want to look up information about Princess Cruises. Just want to look up Princess. I just thought of it. Let me see what it says. The daughter of a monarch, a minarch, right? Let's see what it says. Let's go to a few few different um places. Princess. Okay, this is princess in the etymology. It says woman of a royal or noble birth. You see? Because the Lord called us a holy people. You know? And let me get that. That's going to be my scripture. Because I, I didn't even have a scripture. You know? I was actually just going to read the definition and then call it what it is. But hey, it's the spirit of the Lord, man. You know? And, um,. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 7, 
and verse 5. No, uh, verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor chosen you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you and because he would keep you, keep the oath which he has sworn unto the unto your fathers have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. All right, so the point here is in six where it says, for thou art an holy people. So we're holy people to the most high. All right, a queen is a prostitute. You know, the scriptures say there should be no whores out of the, the daughters of Israel, roughly paraphrasing, you know. These women that are prostitutes and women that are whores, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, none of our women would be prostitutes and whores. They would be what? Wives and princesses, man. If you would title your wife, you, she would be a princess. Okay, and we are holy people, man. We are royal people. So let me go back to the word. Let's go back to the word princess in the etymology. Woman of royal or noble birth. It says daughter or wife of a ruler or prince. And when you say in that word prince, it should come to mind. All right, which is who we are. Yasha Allah. Yasha Allah. He prince power. Okay, which stands for he is he's the prince of the power. Okay? He prince power, meaning the men of the tribes, okay, the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanic and Native Seminole Indians, these men, all right, are princes of Yahweh. So if we're prince, then guess what? Our wives, our wives, our daughters would be what? Princesses, man. All right, now it's going off my saying female ruler because we know that there's no rulers of women in the house of Israel, okay? The only thing a woman can rule, all right, is over children, you know? It says a native formation. Let's see what else it got here. All right. And that, that's it. That's it. That's all. That's it, man. It's a few other. It's, yeah, that's 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 the point, man. All right. So you want to call your if you're a female, you're a woman. You know, you want to be a princess, and you want to act like a princess. You want to dress in modest for modest apparel. All right. You want to carry yourself as a princess. You know, when you when you have raising a, a little girl, you have a daughter, you have a little cousin, or whatever the case may be. And, and that girl is young, what you call her? She's a princess, you put in a dress, she looks nice. You would tell her she's a princess to make her feel good about herself so that she carries herself, you know, in, in this modest, delicate way. A woman is supposed to be delicate, not rough, you know? A woman's supposed to be delicate, man. And um, the Most High is gonna form our women to be delicate in that day. Because right now, you know, you're, you're dealing with pit bulls, man, you know? Now that's you know each each your own they say, you know uh, you know a hey, certain brothers got women that that um you know that that that's 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 our not like that you know, and then some brothers do have women that are like that. So if the shoe fit, wear it. If not, then let it be, man. All right, but that's just the truth because the majority of our women they out of order, man. They they they're gone. All right, they're vicious pit bulls, you know, or the backyard junk dogs, you know chained up all damn day you let them loose they're gonna go crazy all right a bunch of beasts you know so you know that's all i have i'm not gonna stress it i just wanted to keep it real short and simple i think it's about about nine ten minutes in uh you know the the, the word uh queen goes back to uh the word queen which is spelled all right q u e a n and when you look that up because you're supposed to go back to the root of things to see what, what it does it mean. When you go back to that, you understand that that word queen means what? Prostitute, man. And all you got to do is just look these things up.
So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.